inevitably just caught this on a new water. I'm on Pingewood and uh, it's probably the smallest cab in the lake to be honest. Just weighed a 19 pound comment. Uh, a proper angry male as well, but I'll see if I can get him up now because he's just been playing up like hell here. Let's have a look at him. Look at that. I know it's not the biggest in the world, but when you're fishing water like this, where there's only about 30 carp in here, I mean, every single fish means a lot. And this means a lot. Not just because it's the first fish, but because it's from a low stock water as well. So, happy days. Yeah, I'm gonna slip this one back now and let's uh, hope for something a little bit bigger than this. Well, nothing can get any smaller to be honest, but there we go. <laughs> I came here for what an absolute beast. Just found out this uh, fish called cluster, 37 pounds. Don't get any better than this. Really happy with this. Look at it. Proper old character. Absolutely made up. Right, I'm slipping back now. Wow. Fantastic. Look at the scale pattern on it. You can see why it's called cluster. Those scales there. Absolutely bang a proper old English fish. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Mm. It's a wee bit windy there, Mark. Yeah. Are you allowed out yeah. of Wales, mate? <laughs> <laughs> You'd think I'd be used to this wind, wouldn't You'd you? You'd be locked up in Wales, boy. What are you doing down here, mate? <laughs> get her gone! Straight to your lines, go get a liner! <laughs> yes! <laughs> There you go, fish number three for me now. Um, absolutely made up now. This session has gone, it's gone really, really well now. I've had three fish, lost one. It doesn't get any better than this, and it's it's it's, it's not a, it's a tricky water to be honest, if I'm being truthful. But uh, yeah, I can see this is probably one of the stockies. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I'm still made up with it. Still fish when I'm here to catch carp, and this is what it is. This is what it is. Lovely stuff. Look at that. You can imagine that in a few years' time, look how dark it is. Nice. Cheers, we're stepping back now. Right, here you go, fish number four. Another stocky. Nice looking fish, mind you. Quite happy with that. Uh, yeah, this is over five runs, four fish. Can't ask for more than that. It's not the easiest water, like I said, but. Uh, I actually didn't realise how many stockage were in here, so it's quite uh, surprising really. But when they're like this, I mean, you can imagine now it's a 30 or a 40, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Here's a good little tip for you when you're fishing boily. What I tend to do is I, I soak my boilies before I actually put them out, so I wash them out. But here's, here's something that I do, it's maybe slightly different. So basically what I do, here's your boilie, all different shapes and sizes, lake water. And what I do then, I add some, um, the matching liquid or whatever I'm using. So at this moment I'm using the Supreme Nut, because I'm using the Nut Plus. Uh, but you can you can do it with almost anything on I mean, the wicked whites there or whatever if you're using a fish meal or whatever just just 
just the, the matcha liquid let them soak I normally let them soak for about 24 hours and they do start after a while but you know when it's done properly is when the surface water starts to get a little bit bubbly and it, they're fermenting a little bit but it's perfect that is when they are absolutely bang on to to uh, to put them out if I get some boiling now I'll crush one of them up and it's just lovely and soft as well and it's good as well for that type of thing fishing over silt because they've only uh, taken extra uh, things uh, from the from the sediment and whatever and make it smell rotten but there you go quick tip for you this is a tip that I use mainly for my early season fishing sort of late winter early spring Basically, I use one of the uh, Fish Frenzy, well, I'm using Fish Frenzy on this particular one, Fish Frenzy spray, uh, PVA friendly, uh, but for this purpose, I spray my hook baits, whether it be pop-ups, wafters, or whatever, give it a good spray, let it soak in for a couple of hours, and then I, there's some pure rock salt. It has to be the pink Himalayan rock salt, and it's nice and fine there, you can see there. And just basically, just take a couple of, a pinch of that, Pour into there, give it a uh, put the lid back on, give it a good shake, and you can build up a couple of layers. Spray it, put some more salt in there, and build it up. Uh, for for um, uh, and and the more layers you put on, the more effective it'll be because it'll be it'll have soaked right into the hook baits. This is an absolutely awesome sort of method for that early sort of spring before they, they're spawning I found that this actually works really really well and just after for a couple of weeks afterwards and then after that then they're just looking for proper bait then like do you know what I mean but if it, for a little tip for you you get on this you won't be disappointed here you go this is fish number five now well happy uh, looks like another another stocky but to be honest, I really don't care. The session's turned into uh, it's a bit of a struggle in the beginning, but now it's just kicking off. And it, I bait, I put in so much bait out now. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, I'm sort of averaging about five kilo a day. But I'm having loads of liners, and that now you know I'm catching regularly every morning now. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's really made my trip now. Let's just hope I can catch a few more like this. The leany. He's got the leany, look! Hey! Hey, that's a very strong fish. Very, very strong. Red card! <laughs> Red card! <laughs> Base slap! <laughs> Is a proper sort after fish, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. 
my bait. <laughs> that is mine from the other night, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I weren't here to catch it. Mate, what? Oh, mate, what fish. Yeah? Found out there's some fish called the Lini. Quite sought after, so I'm told. But uh, mate, it's mint. I mean, look at that for a scale pattern. <sighs> Don't get any better than that. Sort of reminds me a little bit of um, the wood carving, really, from church. But what a fantastic fish! I'm really made up with that. Eight downs. Comment. What a session. Really happy with that. Look at it. Proper old fish that is. Gave a hell of a scrap this morning. Really good scrap. Good. It's just kicking off now. Just putting loads and loads of, well, not loads of bait, but enough bait to keep them coming back every morning. Uh, look at that. Superb, I'm just slipping back now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> already really good to the weeds really horrendous out there and uh, but I gave this one a little bit more persuasion than normal because I had to obviously drop the lead try and get it up to the surface what a mega 
fish. I literally lost two uh, at the beginning of the session, lost one this morning. I was absolutely devastated because the weed is so savage out there, it's, it's unreal. But uh, I had another run and landed this one, a lovely common. 29 and a half pound this one is. It's not one of the big girls in here. But hey, I'm happy with that one. Look at that. I said I had to give a little bit more sort of persuasion onto the bank than I normally would. But uh, tackle the out of luckily. It's what a mega fish. Mega, mega fish. Hopefully, yeah, it's a little story about this. It's got a bit of a tail on you. When it came up to the surface, um, I thought it was the one I was after. It's just got a bit of a big paddle on it, but it wasn't. But, you know, initially I was thought, oh, God, what now that one? But uh, every fish in here is special, super special. Mm -hmm. I'll slip it back.